Good afternoon. Let's talk some entertainment here on Joy News today. Now, Sonny Badu says he is not worried about secular teacher gospel minister Yao Siki's rejection of his assistance in ministry. Uh, the UK based singer had offered to help the struggling preacher financially and also mentor him, but he declined. According to Sonny Badu, he believes that Yao Siki is excelling in his ministry. We'll bring you that particular story uh, later on in, in, in the day. Now, meanwhile, uh, the multiple award-winning gospel artist has revealed his foundation has decided to adopt 65 kids from the chosen generation foster home in Accra. This revelation comes after he donated some food items, toiletries, and an undisclosed amount of money to the foster home. Uh, this initiative, according to the Sony Badu Foundation, will help the kids through their education and basic needs. <laughs> Few days to Christmas. I don't know why I'm not feeling it, but I think right now I can feel Christmas all over because Christmas is all about giving and uh, what people are doing now is they're giving back to the society. Uh, one of the people, well, he got me branded. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Joy News, I think I'll just move to Sonny Badu's foundation, then we can just move on. Yeah. But I have Sonny here. Uh, uh, he is here at the uh, Chosen Generations of Jesus Christ um, home and he's giving all these kids everything that you're seeing here. Hello, Sonny, how are you? I'm doing very well. I know you're in town. Um, I've been in Nigeria, so I just came here briefly, yeah, just for this, yeah. What, what, what inspired, I mean, a lot of people, um, oh, we see celebrities do this, you know, a lot, but uh, for you, what, what, what inspired the decision to come all the way and adopt these kids? Because right. moving on, you've adopted them and you'll be, you'll be giving them you know stuff every month yeah. um, I've been doing this for almost 20 years um, a lot of stuff we've been doing we've been doing it on the quiet because we believe that uh, biblically when you're given to the left the right cannot see and especially to the poor and the needy when you're given to them it's not a time or opportunity to let the world see so you just bring quite a few people together just to document it or for it to be put in history but in Nigeria I'm with the Igalo Foundation. We also support um, Igalo's foundation. And in Ghana, we were looking for an orphanage to adopt that we can make our own, that we can take care of all the kids through their education, their medical needs and everything. So of course, Badu Foundation in America, we, um, all over the world, we had a fundraising and um, dinner ball together. And we thought, okay, um, since mom has been here already and knows the kids for herself, it's going to be better to adapt this orphanage and uh, they're very pleasant, everybody's beautiful so just for Christmas we've ensured that they have everything, like everything and then uh, we'll make some cash donations as well and then from January going they become ours so we ensure that the kids are very well taken care of, I think they're 65 for now so so, so, so moving on uh, i mean christmas looks very nice right now uh, but moving on from january february to the rest of the month that you will be supporting them each month uh, what exactly would you be doing you mentioned that you'll be paying those fees need, those who need education we ensure that we help with that we help with their fees those who need medical medical attendant attendance we make sure that they get that um, because we, i i just realized that they live here and all 65 of them are sharing four rooms. Now we're going to have to change everything for them and show that they live in a bit of heaven on earth, if I can, because they, they're, 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 they're orphans. And uh, for me, that's my passion. 
Now let's now take you back to uh, what uh, Sonny Badu makes of Yang Siki's uh, rejection of his offer. Um, I've been around the blocks for a very long time and um, I saw the controversies that went that went with uh, um, the whole Yao Siki thing. Um, you know, one interesting thing about Ghana is uh, everybody has their own mind of how they perceive something. And if you're not careful and your ears fall into the wrong, the, the wrong words from somebody, they might turn you away from what somebody really wanted to do to help. So we saw that issue on the internet. It was not a private thing that was sent to us privately. No, we saw it on the internet just as everybody had seen it. And the first thing we did was we contacted our, um, our PR here that get through to this guy. Now, I chose to go on Instagram to announce it because I also wanted to encourage those circular boys who really want to get into Christ but they don't have that much help or support Christians are very used to rejecting people it's easy with the Ufrihi we're now rapid in Ufrihi now by so I put it on there to let people know that there are some of us who are willing to encourage you that's why every second if you check my Instagram I'm always encouraging Majid because Majid's mom before she died spoke to me about Majid that please Sonny help my, my son to give his life to Christ. Majid has been around. The, so I make sure that, you know, I remind him that mom, this is what mom really wants. And I put it on my Instagram encouraging him. I listen to some of the words he gave and it's very powerful. So all I wanted to do was to open that arm, help him out. And he came out to say he doesn't want it. And I respect that, you know, and uh, I hope he's doing well. Um, I hope he's really doing well. But you see, sometimes you can be very passionate about something without an experience in that whole whole uh, industry. And that's what I wanted to do, help him, guide him. But um, I, I know he's doing well, so yeah. On that note, we end entertainment here on Joy News today. My name is Becky. Enjoy the rest of your day.